Hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Divine Jai God in 717, and I am here today to do the karmic reading for the week. I thank you guys so much for all the love, likes, shares, and subscribes. If you're new, welcome. If you're already part of my tribe, hi, my loves. Welcome back. Um, everything you guys need to know about me is down below in the description box. As far as bookings, pricing, and um, P.O. box for tr gifts, trinkets, donations, um, everything is down below for you in the description box, okay? Um, other than that, be ready to get started. Let's dig and see what the tea is for the comments for this week, okay? Let's check it out. Get an overall energy. Whew, okay. So, Spirit Guides and Ancestors of Light, please give us an overall energy when it comes to the karmic. Excuse me, these cards are, are they new, guys? They, they get stuck. They're brand new. Oh, let's see here. Spirit Guides and Ancestors of Light, please give me. Okay, we got um, Student Upright. So, Student Upright is humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to, to lifelong learning. Okay? So what this says is, this is a lesson that has to be learned. Somebody's about to learn a lesson. Um, some karmics are learning some harsh lessons about who's really the boss here. That's overall energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, goddess in reverse. Um, exploit, exploitation of the female nature and form. Mm -hmm. Goddess in reverse is a whore. Yeah, so this person has been taught a lesson for being a sneaky whore, being underhanded, lying, doing things just to get keep control. They, this person was a sex magician. They used their body to get the things that they wanted. And that's about to be exposed. This person's about to be taught a lesson by the universe. Yes, God, yes. Benevolence and compassion. Recognize the eternal force within yourself and others. And and the shadow side is um this this potency wait, this Potism and cruelty, using power to control people. Mm -hmm. In reverse, this karmic is learning a lesson. They're a student right now. Then part of the universe and higher power is coming in as an authority to show them that the who is in, who's the boss. This person has been using manipulation to keep control of people. Not just um, the divine masculine or feminine. They're also using it for their people in their community to control them and make them think that they're somebody that they're not. Mm-hmm. And we have a monk or a nun, negative judgment of physical world, excess pettiness, upright, selfish devotion, and single mind dedication to spirit. In reverse, this person was coming off like they were a spiritual person and they were not. They lied and deceived your person and everybody else around them when they were actually practicing the devil's work. And that's about to be exposed here in this, in this season. Wow. They're about to learn some major lessons here. Let's see here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Poet in Reverse. Um, turns a lyric gift to negative to negative or destructive effect. Yes, this person was very, very toxic. Okay. That's about to be revealed to, to everybody about this karmic. This karmic, anything that came out of their mouth was a lie. It was deceitful. It was deceptive. It was manipulative. They lied on many people. They were a walking lie bag. <laughs> Spirit essence of the lie. Give me some more energies when it comes to the karmic reading. Yes, they're about to be blocked from taking action in, in anything that they do. Their magic, their, their manipulation is about to be shut down. They're a student. They're about to learn a major lesson here. Wow, they're being they can't move. Yep, here in collection, they're about to be exposed that they were not. They were a karmic. They're learning that your person is a student. They, I mean, your this karmic is a student. They are learning that they are a karmic. This person really believed that they were you. Mm hmm. Your person is walking away and coming towards you. There, this person's about to be left. Yes, this karmic is about to have a rude awakening, student. They're about to learn a heavy lesson about playing with the higher power and divine beings. Woo, Lord, have mercy. Door to spirit. Mm-hmm. Door to spirit. Your person is walking away and walking towards you, and this is also a spiritual lesson they need to learn. Wow. Mm-hmm. Financial constraints. This, that they are about to be stripped of everything that they had financially. 
These karmics were financially focused. They were about manipulating people out of their money, out of their finances, out of their happiness. And now their karma for being a bad student, being disobedient to the higher power and thinking that they are in charge, they will be financially ruined for the rest of their days. That is their spiritual lesson. Mm -hmm. And they won't have any love either. They're about to have some messed up karma. Then they're going to be in spiritual jail where they can't even move and take action. Yep, everything that they do, they will fail. No victory in the situation at all for these karmics. Wow. Yes, angel of love in reverse. Dang. Mm. Yeah, you, you reap what you sow. They having a rough time right now. If you had comments that were always gloating and I'm living my best life and I'm doing this and that and I'm all, all that's out the window. Right now, they are stuck, can't take action. All, all of the magic that they did on your person and you or anybody else in their environment is boomeranging back. Your person now knows that they were a karmic lesson. They know they are in your person for that. They're walking away from them. Door to spirit is in charge of the situation. Shut down the karmic's finances and love. Any form of happiness will not be a victory. Loss. Mm -hmm. they, are being, they are stuck in a student chair in the seat. Stuck and can't move right now. Tied up. Spiritual jail. They gets no love. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. They are going to be heartbroken forever. With all they will do, they will not be able to take any action towards being any, making any more third-party situations or coming in between you and your person anymore. This person's about to be cut out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. And they don't even want your person to walk away from the situation. This karma wants your person to stay in hell with them. What people don't understand, my loves, is that when, when, when you have good karma and you have people come around you, they feed off of that and they get your good karma. They, whatever you're around is what you become. Okay, so this karmic knew that if your per they kept your person in hell, they would not have to fend for themselves only alone and reaping all their karma by themselves. Okay. And your person is about to make a decision to drop this situation, this false connection, and walk into their will of fortune upright. Your person is about to drop the situation. The day that the divine tarot team for today was the same way about femme fatale, this karmic. Yes, your person's walking, about to step in their power and walk away from the situation. Yes. King of Wands. Your person's about to leave the situation behind. They have awakened to what this person's manipulation has been to their game. Your person even found out that they were stuck in this situation with this person. And this person had a third party situation the whole time. They were stuck with a false enemy. Yeah, somebody looked like that. They loved them. They never gave a shit about your person. Yes. Spirit is coming in to end this third party situation. Three of cups in reverse. There will only be two. The divine two, the real caring connection is what's about to come to a head. This karma is about to be get kicked to the curb. Mm-hmm. Yep. Out in the cold financially. Five of Pentacles is where they will be in their financial state. This person will be sitting on sleeping on somebody's couch or in their car. This karma is about to have some heavy karma for this with the seeds that they have sown. The bed that they made is time for them to lay in it now. Victor in reverse. Please give me one on Victor in reverse when it comes to the karmic spirit. If that's the light. Ooh. Please give me one when it comes to the karmic. Ooh. Victor in reverse. Oh, yep. Look at that. What did I say? Financial ruin. We this is what? The, the, the second or third, the third card of financial loss. They focused on your person's finance. These karmics were financially focused. They were. Gold diggers, blood suckers, wallet chasers. They put your person in a situation and tried to sabotage you guys because your person was the bag. And they wanted to empty that bag out and now their bag is going to be empty for. There will be no victory when it comes to finances of any kind. They will be stuck out in the cold with their finances. Out in the cold broke. Is what the karma's got coming towards and what they're going through right now as well for some. Mm. That's some tea, y'all. Yep. Justice is about to be served. The heartbreak they caused for you, 
by blocking your person from them being able to take action. Uh-huh. It's the hardback break they're about to receive. Justice is about to be served in this situation. Mm-hmm. The karma is going through karma right now. All these karmas are about, they're reaping their reward. Mm-hmm. Your person does not want to fight anymore. They do, they're not trying to manipulate you. They want to come towards you and fix the situation and walk into their truth. Your person's ready to do the right thing. Yes. They know they have to walk away from the situation. This person, your person's about to step into their power, but they have been betrayed. Like they betrayed you, they have been betrayed by this karmic and they're finally walking away because they have been awakened to the situation. The universe came in and smacked your person awake. Yeah, that they're taking everything from your person. <clears throat> yeah, your person was financially focused too. So they manifested somebody to teach them a true lesson. They were a student to this karmic as well. Mm -hmm. Your person, spirit is coming in to correct the situation between you and your person and push, kick this third party karmic out of the situation where your person can go back to where it's supposed to be, the six of cups with you and reconcile. <sighs> this is crazy, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Yep. For being deceitful and st everybody that this is karmic dealt with financially, they stole from the people. They, they manipulated everybody in their life with lies. This person has so many different masks and personalities. And now they're about to, they're about to be out in the cold for being deceptive. Every always anybody, friends, family, they crossed everybody. This they're about to be re revealed in the community for who they truly are. That's how they're gonna end up out in the cold. Yeah, their shifts will not be coming in. Yes, right here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. No ships coming in. Three of Wands in reverse. This situation is over. This karmic for the next t seven to ten years will be stuck in poverty. No action, no movement, no progress. Yeah. It's over for them. Mm-hmm. Justice is about to be served. We all, we all have been waiting on justice to be served in a lot of situations that we've been going through. And now this season right here, we have um, Saturn and Aquarius right now, which is very, very important. When it comes to karma, anything you put out right now is coming back faster than you can think. So these karmas are even trying to still affect you or your person. It's going to come back. All they're doing is deceiving themselves because it's boomeranging back quicker than they send it out. Within hours, within seconds, it's returned to sender. This is justice season. Nothing is working anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I say, nothing is working anymore. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Nothing's working. It's over. These karmics are, they didn't play themselves all the way to, to the end. And the goddess in reverse, the, the sex or anything, sex work or nothing's going to work anymore. Spirit is shutting them down all the way. They've been shut down all the way. Yep. Transformation. It's about to be a major change. That's justice. Their transformation will be poverty. Loss, karma. I love my card. <laughs> I'm a Libra rising. I'm justice. Yes. And my chart. Mm -hmm. I, I bring justice. That's why people don't. They should know who they're dealing with when you mess with people in the spiritual realm. People thought I was a Rudy Poo in life because I never bothered anybody. They never knew my ranking. And now they're finding out. And so it is. Mm-hmm. I'm the good luck charm, but I'm also justice. Mm-hmm. Yep. This karmic was trying to stop. They were faking and fronting. Okay. Trying to pose as you, divine feminine or masculine, take it how it resonates. They were trying to stop this situation from changing, stopping this will from turning. You see right here, the will of fortune, you can't stop it. Okay. That manipulation has been stopped in reverse. The universe is shutting it down. It's over. The game is over for these karmics. Yep. They, they betrayed themselves. Your person walking away. Your person was stressed out in the situation. They, they, they are awakened to just how much hell they put themselves into. But they needed to learn this lesson. Okay? They are now ready to stand in their power and drop this, this deceit. This betrayal. They were betrayed. Your person was stabbed in their back tremendous times with by this karma. They're about to, they're finding it out now slowly. Yeah, they're ready to come towards harmony and have peace in their life. 
They tired of the situation. Mm -hmm. They know that they know here with this karmic, there is no possibilities in reverse. This third party situation is over. Yes, door to spirit is shutting that down so you guys can reconcile. Nothing's going to grow here. There's nothing but dark energies there. Manipulation. All this karmic has is um, sex magic and love spells. Glamour, glamour spells. They, they were all about dark forces. Everything that they did was an illusion. This person, your person has found out that this karma was nothing but, was a skip. Look, they were deceptive. They were a mental patient. Schizophrenic, I've been saying this, mental patients. Mental patient is about to be exposed for just how looneyville they are. This person is a psychopath, a sociopath. And they're about to be to find out about everything with this person had to do with sex. You know how to say a lot of people that when they when they have men, if, if you guys don't watch movies, okay, where you see where the people that are um, mental patients, they always want to screw all the time. That's what's going on here. This person, all they know is how to fuck. That's it. How to get, but they use sexual seances, devil energies, Jezebel spirits and energies to, to control a person, to suck their energy. They didn't just suck your person dry. This karmic use your person for finances. They use them for their spiritual energy. They use them for their actual energy of their soul. I'm pretty sure your person look older than this karma because it's kind of been sucking them dry. But once your person leaves the situation, they will gain their youth back. This karma will not have any ships coming in after this situation. So they're about to lose all of everything that they stole from you or anybody else. Yeah. They are not innocent. They have not, they're not innocent at all. That's about the, that's being exposed right now. The mind games are no longer working. Yes, they're ex the, the, they're about to change. The universe is about to remove them. They will have they will not even exist in you guys' life at all. They're about to be removed as you guys go forward in the will of fortune with good luck. Your person is coming towards you to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your person had to release and stop clinging to the past. They probably were like this new this karmic for a long time and thought that the, you you're loyal if you look if you pick the person that you knew the longest. That's a lie. The person had to learn a lesson about clinging to things that do not serve their highest good. Mm-hmm. Your person knows that there's no possibilities here. That's why they're ready to walk away from this third-party situation and come reconcile with you. Because they know with you, you are the abundance. This karmic is nothing but a loss. And they're about to have to sit back and watch you guys. They're very immature too as well. They're not just a psychopath. They're also immature. An immature schizophrenic. That's, that's the problem. That's full of deceit. They would do anything for clout. Yeah anything they got your person probably tied up on all types of shit guys this karma is, is being exposed for who they really are and your person is awesome your person and the community there's been people in the community that told your person about this person mm -hmm. and they're very lazy your person was tricked and told that they were actually dealing with the person that was a power couple somebody they can build with all this person did was sit on their ass and lay on their back Male or female. They used your person for everything that they had. They never put any work in towards the Ace of Pentacles with your person. All they did was drain your person of the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, of any victory that they had. They now want your person to have any growth or any victory of progress. Mm-hmm. Yep. And for that, at the bottom of the deck, postpartum and reverse. The situation they had been stalling. Your person from being able to move into their abundance, into their growth and prosper and move into their light with you. This karmic has been the block between you two. They thought that they were God. They thought they were the higher power. But now they're the student. Postponement is no longer available. This situation is about to move fast. It's about to accelerate quickly forward. And the karmic is about to find out why you are not the boss. Because they are about to be blocked and shut down. They are. They can. Everything they touch is turning to shit. It's not moving. No unexpected income. They are not about to have any finances. Anything that everything that they desire will not be coming their way or be blocked. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Per high honor. Two plus five is seven. That's faded and destined situation that's supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. Message of concern coming in. Your person's about to hit them with a brick. They're going to wake up and your person going to be gone. Mm-hmm. Family room in reverse. False family, false situation. Your person's about to also find this current being lying about kids. And also probably wouldn't even pay the bills. They, their money wasn't even going where it's supposed to go. They trust this karmic with everything. And your person's money and everything has just been going down the drain like when you uh, wash your hands. And your person's expecting income to come in. They're finding out that it ain't happening. That their abundance has been sucked away by a karmic, a Jezebel, a succubus, a femme fatale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person tried to be... This person is so crazy, they really believe that they were truly the gift. But they're not. This person walked around like they were the end-all, be-all. And they were really a mental patient. That's deep. And very immature. A grown, a baby in a grown person's body. Mm-hmm. And they, they came off like they were going to be a boss and work with your person. They were number lazy and a leech. Yep. And they were not, they played the innocent card and they not. They were a whore the whole time. Your person was not the only, this person was a sex worker. Goddess in reverse is a whore, a street walker, a sex worker. Do anything for, they open, their legs open at any sound of a dollar or a penny. They are not an official person. What did I say? Immature. And try to mess with you guys' is change. And avoid your person from having to go where? To the courthouse. To find out about children. DNA tests. They want to keep your person confused. Whoever they had the kids by, who the actual daddy is, ain't got as much money as your person had. Or was not as driven as your person. This person's about to, somebody about to go, this karma could be going to jail too. Yeah, that could be a message of concern there. Mm-hmm. And all your person do is think about you. Masculine or feminine. Empress or emperor. Take it how it resonates. Your person's now awakened to what's going on and what's been happening. They're about to wake up and leave the situation if they have not already. They're planning it, if anything. Past, present, or future. It's on the way. They know all, all they're going to get here with this karmic is sudden wealth in reverse. They're being stolen. Their gift is stolen. Their finances are stolen here. And this person is false. Yes. And all they've been gaining from the situation is bad health. The karmic is also going to have bad health for the boomerang of their karma coming back to them. This is reaping season. Everything they sent out is coming back to them. A lot of these karmas are sick and not feeling well within themselves. And they have a lot of mental issues. A lot of them don't even sleep at night. Can't rest. Who they truly are is being revealed in this season. Your person and everybody around that was manipulated by this karmic is now seeing who they truly are. Wow. Mm. Whew, that's heavy. I'm going to see a couple more cards. Let me see here. Get some of these so you can see here what's going on. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're about to be confronted. Yes, they are. They're being confronted. Your person, your person about to go off and leave out of nowhere. Yeah, this karma about to be dropped. And if they were, uh, this is karma being so lazy and they never, well, however your person had them living, they're not going to be able to afford that lifestyle anymore. So they've been manipulating your person to, to stay. Mm -hmm. Your person know that they are going through the situation because they did not listen to everybody that was telling them about this karma. Your person had been told multiple times by you and other people about this karma. And that, that your person was afraid of change. That's why they're not making the decision here. There was never any love in this situation. This karma never gave a shit. Only time they gave a damn about your person when your person was, was tired of them. Then they would love bomb them, get them back in, and then fuck them over again. It was never about love. Yes, your person is, is ready for joy and stability. They're ready to walk into their true happiness now. Mm -hmm. Their throat chakra is open. This person even had their throat chakra blocked. They were doing some, some real harsh magic on your person. Yes. 
which is going to cause your person to open up. They're about to confess their love to you and leave, drop this karmic like a bad habit. Yeah, the karma did not want you guys to be able to come back together and strengthen your bond. They wanted to sever ties with you two. And they wanted to be you. They didn't want your person to have any clarity or believe that they can ever get you back. The manipulation of the goddess in reverse. Yes, but now your person sees. They were refusing to see at first. Now they see clearly. Yes. I can see clearly now the magic's gone. <laughs> I love to say that when I'm able to. Because <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Woo. Yep, new direction. Your person's listening now. Their ears is wide open. Yes, yes. You could be dealing with an Aries. Yes, Aries jumped out, honey. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries. Yes, they're ready for their new direction now. Yeah, your person had to go through some dark night of the soul. The shadow is you too. Well, you reflect, you guys reflect the things back to your person, okay? But they had to go through the real dark night of the soul by being locked up with this damn karma. This karma taught your person a serious lesson. Both of them were students in this situation. The karma thought that they were in control, but the spirit came in and is teaching both of them a heavy lesson, okay? Your person, once they get out of it, they're going to be all right. They're going to have a rebirth. But this karma is going to be stuck in nothing. Nothingness. Bad health, no finances, no love. The same thing they sent towards you and caused for you guys to have in your relationship when they try to sever the situation and control it like they were God. Mm -hmm. Look, judgment. That's all they're about to get. And you guys are about to come and reconcile. Yeah, that's what's about to happen here. Yes, your person right now is in hermit mode. I told you when this person come out of hermit mode, I've been saying the whole reading, this karma is about to get dropped. Like, like the game. Love and basketball. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because now it's time for you guys, your person coming out. And coming towards the Ace of Cups. They know who their true love is now. Your person now appreciates their gift. Without them going through this cycle with this karmic and having to learn this lesson as a student with uh, with the universe, teaching them and this karmic. This karmic thought they were in control the whole time. But the universe is actually using the karma as a puppet to drag your masculine or feminine into their ascension. So they can walk in their truth towards their Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. That's what was going on here. They got played. Mm-hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Good luck. Once your person is done with the situation, the karma got a rude awakening. This is the ending. Ten, your person's about to leave the situation and come towards their ten of cups, their happiness, their abundance, their prosperity, their growth, their family, their everything. Good luck. Good fortune. And the karma is going to sit there reaping nothing. Yeah, they'll be in hell. You always have a choice what you decide to do. Universe told this person to stop this karmic. They have been warned many times. But they're mental patients. So they don't listen. They don't learn. They don't learn unless they lose everything. Or close to death. Or locked up. Or get their ass whooped. One or the other. But they about to learn for real because the universe is coming in to spank that ass. And shut them all the way down. And for the next 7 to 10 years, it will be nothing heard from them. If it is, they will always have issues. They won't bother you for long. Because the universe is going to make sure that they're not able to move and take action. I thank you guys so much. That's everything for us right now. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I love you. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do the karmic reading every two weeks. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions about the, what you want to know about the karmic, please let me know down below in the description box, okay? Or in the comment section, I'm sorry. But um, everything you guys need to know is in the description box below, all right? I love you. I thank you. It's about to change, y'all. Some shifts about to change here. This, this right here, we got rebirth, judgment, hermit, ace of cups in a row. And shadow first before rebirth. Your masculine or feminine is transforming. 
and they're transforming right in front of the karmic's face. That's how dumb they are. They don't even understand. Your person going to up and leave. Even if they're committed to this person, they're not, they can't, ain't going to be able to take it. Yep. This karma is about to reap some heavy, harsh karma. Your person's about to close this cycle out. We got the King of Wands on deck over here. New direction. Listen in reverse. They're ready to listen now. They're about to leave it all behind. To reconcile with you. They know. There we go. The karmic is about to leave, guys. Their exit, their eject button is about to be pushed by the universe. I thank you so much. I love you. Namaste.